Arkansas's beer business is booming. Natural State Beer Company in Rogers and Bentonville Brewing Company on 14th Street just opened. Both benefit from tax breaks. It's important for the stability of, of our growth. The one-year extension of the Craft Beverage Modernization and Tax Reform Act also has benefits for existing brewers. Marty Shutter of the Ozark Beer Company says it saved his business $16,000 last year. So we bought um, a tank, a large tank for our lager, and we and it accompanied we, co we accompanied that with a new hire of a of a brewer. The trickle down from these tax breaks also includes the local companies that makes their hoodies, T-shirts, and baseball caps, and the real estate impact from the building they brew out of here in Rogers. Everything from the T-shirt manufacturers to our tank manufacturers to our um, hops and grain suppliers, all of those businesses along the chain, which are majority American. American-owned businesses also benefit from the boon that we see. According to the Brewers Association, craft beer contributes $79 billion to the U.S. economy. Shutter says $800 million came from Arkansas. But the tax break extension doesn't come without concern. Critics say large beer companies benefit the most from not having to pay those taxes. That makes it tougher for smaller brewers to compete. They're taking in uh, $700 million to like close to a billion dollars in revenue. And that is not, that's not a struggling company. That is not a company that desperately needs tax relief. But for Ozark Beer Company, the tax breaks means the difference between adding resources or cutting back. And they like to see the tax breaks be made permanent. What that looks like is an instant, a near instant reinvestment into infrastructure, personnel, and always translates to a boon for the business. In Rogers, Paul Petit, 4020.